This show is part of the Trans Podcaster Visibility Initiative. Ah, yes, I do love a kaiju beat em up. Taste simian based destruction, puny humans. You know, they made that a movie. Ugh, does this have to do with the setup from your last review? Yep, it most certainly does. But, but you promised no Uwe Boll. Well, he did make a movie called Rampage. In fact, he even tried to sue this movie and Warner Brothers because of it. But they have nothing to do with each other. Okay, okay. Just as long as this isn't a repeat of Doom, I think I'll be fine. So, obviously, today we're going to be talking about the overlooked summer blockbuster of this year, Rampage. So, what's the lowdown on this giant monster hoedown? Primatologist Davis, as portrayed by Dwayne The Rock Johnson, shares an unmistakable bond with George, the extraordinary intelligent silverback gorilla who's been in his care since he was young. When an evil corporation's genetic experiment goes awry, George and other animals across the country are mutated into aggressive super creatures who destroy everything in their path. In this adrenaline-filled ride, Davis tries to find an antidote, not only to halt a global catastrophe, but also to save the fearsome creature who was once his friend. Wait a minute, George, Lizzie, and Ralph weren't originally animals. They were people who got mutated in the game. So The Rock isn't George? That's fucking bogus. What's this got to do with the game? Well, it does, and it doesn't. In a blink and you'll miss it scene. The original arcade cabinet for Rampage does appear within the film. But it does make one question if it's based on the game at all or just borrows names and themes from it. Regardless, it's one of the best reviewed movies ever based on a video game franchise. Besides, it's giant monsters beating the hell out of each other with a human story that dovetails with it perfectly. Even Toho hasn't managed to do that successfully in 64 years. However, if you're expecting Shakespeare in the park, you're at the wrong place. It's pure, dumb, popcorn monster movie fun. So, wait a minute, you actually like this movie based on a video game? Yeah, I honestly think people missed out in fear that it was yet another movie based on a video game. And of course it was starring The Rock. Hey, we all have Doom flashbacks. And not to mention the bad taste Uwe Boll leaves in your mouth. Yeah. Don't remind me. So, what's next on our docket? Well, since I'm on a continued spooky movies from my childhood kick, and the Predator movie just came out, I'm gonna focus on two films that was written and directed by one of the writers of the more recent The Predator film. Oh, and what exactly do these films involve? Well, alien slugs and zombies for the one, and the other is an all-out monster party. Just please tell me that none of these films are based on the monster party video game. Ugh. How I wish somebody would take that crazy-ass game and make it a film. But no, no, you'll see. Until next slime, creep it real, take scare, and, as always, unpleasant screams.